Being grateful to Allah, my brothers and sisters. Another feeling that has to come through your mind and your heart while you're praying is what Allah gave you. What Allah deserves, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Forget about His feet, forget about His love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us so much ni'am, so much gift, subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave us. Don't you feel gratitude? Don't you feel ashamed? Don't you feel shy? Allah gave me everything I have. Allah gave me everything I'm enjoying. And I can't prostrate my forehead before Him and thank Him properly. I can't give Him some time of my day and say, Thank you, Allah, for what you're giving me. This is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not praying like us. He was not praying thinking, I have to pray, I have to offload my salah. He was praying to Hajj at night. Aisha, his wife, radiallahu anha, narrates. She goes, Muhammad sallallahu used to pray at night so long until his feet would crack and sweat. His skin would crack, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from long standing in salah. فقلت له لما تصنع هذا يا رسول الله وقد غفر الله لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر. Why are you doing so much in the name of Allah when Allah has forgiven your sins? You know, she was thinking like, Subhanallah, she's higher than all of us, of course. But the same thought comes. Imagine if I say to you, brother, you're going for no salah, don't worry about it, what will happen? We'll end up loving every day, no one will start praying. But Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, although he knew, خلاص, let's see. Salah, you know, Jannah is guaranteed, the high strengths. Never prepare for help five touches on Allah. He knows he's in the highest ranks. But yet, he used to pray so long. So Aisha was confused. Why are you doing so at first rest? So he says, Look at the hadith. Shouldn't I wish? Shouldn't I want to be a thankful slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I want to thank Allah. I feel this gratitude. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was shy from his Lord. He had the shyness in his heart. Allah made me a prophet. Allah gave me everything. Allah gave me victory. Allah gave me strength. Allah gave me the Quran. Allah gave me the Fatah Halaka or Shaykh Masayya Fatah. Allah gave me all this. I'm not going to stand this up. I'm not going to praise Allah. I'm not going to thank Him. Forget about, forget about you know, the rewards and the ranks. He was shy. Where is this shyness in our hearts now? Do we feel shy from Allah? Yeah, we feel shy. Allah gave me everything. Allah gave me my job, my wife, my kids, my husband. Allah gave me Allah gave me the money I have, the house I own, the car I'm driving, the health. Everything Allah gave me. Don't I want to praise Allah and thank Him? Don't want to give Him attention for five minutes? Wallahi, it's, 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 a, it's a shame. These feelings, don't Wallahi, if before the Salat, you spend five times thinking of these feelings and meanings, your Salat will be on different levels completely. You will reach different levels completely in your Salat. Just think of these meanings. Gratitude, belittle yourself before Allah. Who am I? Who am I standing before Allah? I'm, a, I'm not even the weight of an ant. In, in, in the universe, where do we stand, my brothers and sisters? All this world, all this universe, compared to the first heaven, all this, you know, this, this land, compared to the first heaven, is like a ring in the desert. The first heaven to the second heaven, to like a ring in the desert. A ring in the desert. The third heaven, to the fourth heaven like a ring in the desert. And as such, and as such. And all the heavens compared to the arsh of Allah is like a ring in the desert. All this universe is nothing compared to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's nothing compared to Allah. Where are you on scale? Where are you? You are nothing. Who are you? Allah allows you to stand before Him. You must feel, you must believe in yourself. Say, oh, Allah gave me this opportunity. How can Allah do ask? How can I take it? How can I use it properly? I'm standing before Allah. I belittle myself, I belittle my a'mal. Never ever ever pray and feel that Allah owes you something. Never ever pray and think, you know what, Allah, I've prayed in the last five times for the past five years, I deserve. You don't deserve nothing. You know, you don't deserve nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the willpower. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthened you, He gave you the tawfiq to come and pray, to start your salah. Millions of people outside, they want to pray, maybe they they, they, they have an intention to pray. Allah does not help them and support them. Allah allowed you. Allah gave you. So you believe in yourself. Don't say, oh, I've done heaps. No, no, no. Don't say, oh, I, I, I've, I've been praying. I've been doing. Don't think like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed me. Uh, my amal are so little compared to what Allah gave me. My brother's alam was once saying, if I was to put your eyes on the market, how much would you pay to get your eyes back? If someone comes and says, I'll give you a billion dollars, give me my eyes. Give me your eyes, would you give them? A million dollars. So what are we doing with the billions? You take my eyes, I'm not going to do anything in life. Thank you, give your billions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you ni'am. They are, subhanAllah, they are priceless. 
Don't you want to, you know, to don't ever pray and think I've prayed Allah enough. I've worshipped Allah enough. Never. I've worshipped Allah and I admit to Allah. I confess my shortcomings. I confess the, the, the small effort I'm doing. But Ya Allah, you are Hamar Rahimin. Ya Allah, you are the most merciful. Ya Allah, you are the most generous. You accept me, inshallah, with your rahmah. Like we heard Masha'Allah, Rosh Kamadan say. Because all these feelings, they should come in your heart, in your mind, while you're praying. Inshallah, if you do this, it's a sign of acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will feel that, you know, the feeling comes, there's like a discussion happening. You will actually feel that, inshallah, my salah was accepted and it, it will cause the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those points of view. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.